Oh, the woods sounds so nice this morning. All right, here we go. Another day of metal detecting. So we are back at the same spot we were at in the last video because when we were here, it's a coin. Big old dandy. That looks like a small coin. They're cufflinks, like the largest ones I've ever dug. And another wheat penny. And that looks like a watch winder. So yeah, lots of awesome things out of about this two acre square, all rock walled, lined, and grown back in field. But apparently it had been worked for a long time. And we found stuff from three centuries. 17, 18, and 1900s. So I'm back today because I figured it was so good. I think it would be a good move to come back and see what else we can find. And a 22 casing. still like five inches deep so these were the predominant undesirable casings from the last dig but what are you gonna do you're gonna dig them <laughs> gotta dig it slug. Another casing. Oh, wow. I thought it was a piece of melted lead. But look at there's a shank. <sighs> so it's what's left of a button. Good, mission accomplished. So just a little recap if you missed the other video. So we have this small square. This is where I dug. Mostly everything was from right here. But we still have some overgrown sections to detect. But I wanted to start where I left off just to give it another go over. And it's such easy swinging. Ah, oh, big nail. Wow, that sounded good. There's a the thing. What is that? It's, uh, looks like pewter. Wow, let me clean that. I have no idea. And the fact that we're dealing with so many layers of time out here doesn't help. The only thing is it's pewter, so that suggests it's very old. I have no idea what that is. I've never seen... Something like that. I figured I'd move into the thick of it all, the overgrown section. Probably another casing. Yep. 
signals are better than no signals. So yeah, I went in there for like 10 minutes and it's as soon as you get out of this little area, the ground is soft. You can feel it as you walk on it. This is pretty hard packed. It's almost living space like. And although I haven't found a footprint, an iron bed from a structure, everything's been over here in this corner. And that's what makes you wonder because between the last trip and just now, as soon as you move away, softer, shifted piles of dirt and, uh, you know, not the concentration of signals. Well, bullet. Dug one last time. Grommet. Oh, it's shotgun willy, but it's the first. And we're on our second day here. Mallard SNR Co. 12 gauge. I don't know, could be a side panel for a shell. That was a part of the thimble at first, but nope. Tin can lid. Oof. New Willy. 22 slug. Wow. Willy. That's a first. <laughs> that was definitely going to be a first. Three casings, one plug. Well, I guess that really is it. I combed the place, dug every single signal but at least we uh, did make it back, check it off the list, and we did find a couple things. See you guys soon.